Welcome to the Social Lens and thank you for watching. South Africa, a country with a rich history of struggle and resilience. In the wake of apartheid's dismantling, the government introduced broad-based Black Economic Empowerment, or BEE, a policy aimed at addressing the historical inequalities that marginalize the majority Black population. However, BEE has not been without its controversies. In this video, we will delve into the complexities of BEE, exploring its impact and the critiques that have emerged. Welcome to our channel, where we explore thought-provoking topics. If you're interested in gaining a deeper understanding of the world around us, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. To fully comprehend the necessity of BEE, we must first delve into South Africa's apartheid history. A system that institutionalized racial segregation, leaving the majority of the population deprived of equal opportunities. BE emerged as a post-apartheid policy with the noble objective of redressing economic imbalances and promoting equality. But has it achieved its intended outcomes? Let's explore. One of the positive impacts of BE has been the economic empowerment it has provided to historically disadvantaged individuals. Through BE, black entrepreneurs have gained access to capital, markets, and networks that were once inaccessible due to their historical disadvantages. This has opened up economic opportunities and contributed to the growth of black-owned businesses across the country. Another important aspect of BEE is skills development. By prioritizing training and education, BEE has aimed to uplift marginalized communities and equip them with the skills needed for meaningful participation in the workforce. Training programs and apprenticeships have helped bridge the skills gap enabling individuals from previously disadvantaged backgrounds to secure employment and build successful careers. BEE has also played a role in transforming the business landscape of South Africa. By promoting black representation in management and ownership positions, barriers have been broken down and racial stereotypes challenged. The emergence of successful black executives and professionals in various industries has served as a symbol of progress and inspired future generations. BEE has incentivized corporate social responsibility initiatives, contributing to the upliftment of disadvantaged communities. Through socioeconomic development projects, companies are required to invest in education, healthcare, and infrastructure in marginalized areas. This commitment to community development has had a positive impact on poverty reduction and improved the quality of life for many South Africans. However, despite these positive aspects, BEE has faced several critiques. Let's examine some of the concerns raised by its critics. Some argue that BEE has fallen short of its intended outcomes, as wealth disparities continue to persist. They highlight instances of fronting, where companies engage in window dressing to meet BEE requirements without truly empowering marginalized individuals. This criticism raises questions about the effectiveness of the policy in achieving real economic transformation. Critics also contend that BE's race-based criteria can inadvertently perpetuate racial divisions and hinder meritocracy. Concerns have been raised regarding potential instances of reverse discrimination where individuals from other racial backgrounds may face barriers in employment and advancement due to BE requirements. BE has faced scrutiny regarding its potential impact on economic growth. Critics argue that the policy has created uncertainties for foreign investment as perceived risks and additional compliance costs may discourage international businesses from operating in South Africa. This skepticism raises concerns about the long-term economic consequences and job creation potential of BE. As we delve into the impact of BE, a pertinent question arises, has economic empowerment under this policy trickled down to the majority of black South Africans or has it merely shifted economic power from white elites to black elites? Critics argue that BE has created a new class of black elites who have gained considerable wealth and influence, while the socio-economic conditions of the majority remain largely unchanged. They contend that the policy has perpetuated inequality by concentrating economic power in the hands of a select few, rather than addressing the systemic challenges faced by the broader black population. Statistics reveal a stark reality. The gap between rich and poor in South Africa remains wide with high levels of poverty and unemployment persisting among the black population. While some black individuals have indeed benefited from BEE, it is important to question whether these successes have translated into meaningful improvements for the majority. 
Corruption allegations have also plagued the implementation of BE, further eroding trust in the policy. Critics contend that corrupt practices, such as fronting and the misappropriation of funds, have undermined the intended benefits of BEE and diverted resources away from those who need them most. Such instances of corruption perpetuate a sense of disillusionment and frustration among the broader black population. The impact of corruption extends beyond individual incidents. It erodes public confidence in the policy's ability to foster genuine economic transformation and empower those who have been historically marginalized. How can we address the concerns surrounding BE and ensure that it delivers meaningful benefits to the majority of black South Africans? Critics argue that a more inclusive approach is needed, focusing on policies that not only promote black economic empowerment but also address the broader socioeconomic challenges faced by marginalized communities. Strengthening transparency and accountability mechanisms is essential to combat corruption within the BE framework. Effective oversight Rigorous audits and the prosecution of corrupt individuals will help restore public trust and ensure that the policy's objectives are realized. Empowering grassroots organizations and community-led initiatives can play a vital role in ensuring that the benefits of economic transformation reach those who have historically been left behind. As we conclude our exploration of BE's challenges and criticisms, it is clear that there is a pressing need for a more inclusive and transparent approach to economic empowerment. While concerns persist regarding the concentration of wealth and allegations of corruption, it is crucial to remember that these issues can be addressed through collective efforts and robust governance. By acknowledging the limitations of the current system and actively working towards its improvement, South Africa can move closer to achieving true economic empowerment for all its citizens. Thank you for joining us on this discussion about BEE in South Africa. If you found this video thought-provoking, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future content. Your support helps us continue these important conversations. Until next time, let's strive for an inclusive and equitable future.